Behind me here is Exeter Castle. The process of justice in the 17th century was different to what we know now. So in practice, the people were in the prison, the witches, as alleged were, the women were there, and they met the grand jury. There were two juries. A grand jury was like the pre-selection process. They looked at the evidence, considered it, and, and had a thought whether this would stand to trial and whether a sentence could be found. And it was composed of major wealthy people of the county, the landholders, the freeholders. So that happened, and they said yes, it could go to trial. And then quite soon, as when the judges arrived here at the Assizes, this was for centuries the Exeter Assizes. It no longer meets here, it's moved away. But the courtrooms, these were rebuilt in the 18th century, which is where the trial took place. The petty jury met, was assembled to judge the women at the trial. So that took place here in 1682 in August and the trial was fairly quick. It was a matter of probably a couple of days only. Huge public interest, no doubt a massive pressure for space in the public gallery to observe these women who were accused of witchcraft who had been basically prejudged already and that affected the outcome of the trial. You know the judge should have been Lord North. In practice he was a sick man so he's let this witchcraft trial go to Judge uh, Raymond. Judge Raymond was basically seen as a bit of a weak guy, didn't know how to manage a jury. And for that reason, the jury and the witches themselves, as well, they basically condemned themselves by confessing everything. They were found guilty and execution took place fairly soon afterwards to it. It happened, they were taken away.